Hello. Hello, Bu. Nice to see you today. How are you? Mm, fine. Wow. It's been how many months, baby? We don't see each other. <laughs> how many months? Mm. Five, six months? No, uh, nine. Ah, oh, okay. Hold on, baby. Okay, so we will start, we will continue the lesson, but this time, baby, we will uh, have another lesson, okay? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay, let me share my screen. Okay, let me share my screen, baby. Are you ready? Yeah. So before we start, baby, Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God. So we are going to start at Unit 40. Okay, let me share my screen. Been a while, poor. Oh, it's been almost uh, ha, uh, nine months, right? Okay, so let's start our lesson. Ready? Okay. <clears throat> okay, welcome to our class, baby. Unit 40. We're almost done with the uh, flyers, okay? Listening. Okay, baby, if you have a piece of paper, give, uh, bring it with you, okay? Because you're going to listen, okay? Ready? Okay. Part one. Listen and look. I hold you. Part one. Listen and look. There is one example. This is a photo of my holiday, Betty. It was very hot. Who are all these people, Uncle? Well, you know Richard. He's sitting in the car. Oh, yes. With the white hat on? That's right. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Who's the man with the camera? The one taking a photo of the giraffe. No, the other one, standing by the tent, in the yellow jacket. Oh, that's Tom. He works in the office. And can you see what Katie's doing? Who's she? The woman who's working on the car. She's a mechanic. Oh, yes. And what's the name of that person there? The boy who's looking at the map? Yes. His face looks very pink. <laughs> That's David. He stayed in the sun too long. And is that Sally? I remember her face. Yes. She's got lovely long red hair, hasn't she? Hmm. Why has she only got one shoe on? I don't know. Perhaps a lion ate the other one. And look, there's her husband, William. The man who's looking out of the tent? No, I mean the man sitting by the fire. What's he writing? His diary. He wrote about everything we did every day. Now listen to part one again. Who's the man with the camera? The one taking a photo of the giraffe. No, the other one, standing by the tent, in the yellow jacket. Oh, that's Tom. He works in the office. And
And can you see what Katie's doing? Who's she? The woman who's working on the car. She's a mechanic. Oh, yes. And what's the name of that person there? The boy who's looking at the map? Yes. His face looks very pink. <laughs> That's David. He stayed in the sun too long. And is that Sally? I remember her face. Yes. She's got lovely long red hair, hasn't she? Hmm. Why has she only got one shoe on? I don't know. Perhaps a lion ate the other one. And look, there's her husband, William. The man who's looking out of the tent? No, I mean the man sitting by the fire. What's he writing? His diary. He wrote about everything we did every day. That is the end of part one. Okay, baby, there's already an answer. Okay. Can you read it, baby? Yeah. Tom, the man in yellow jacket. So this is Tom. Okay, can you read it? Yeah, Tom. Tom and the man in the yellow jacket. Okay. Next is next number two. Katie and the woman working on the energy. Katie and the woman working in the car on the car engine, baby. Car uh, engine. Uh, sorry, wait, wait, wait me a minute. Okay. Okay. Okay, baby, read it. Katie and the woman working on the car engine. Katie and the woman working on the car engine. Okay, number three. Um, David and the boy with a pink flag looking at the map. David and the boy with the pink face looking at the map okay so that's david baby say it again david david okay next number four uh sally and the woman with long red hair and one shoes one shoe so that's sally okay next william and the man sitting in writing yes Okay, this one, baby. So can you write it, baby? If you have, if you have a paper, you can write. Listen and write. There's one. There's one example. Are you ready? Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you for part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Dad, can I have a party for me and seven other girls at school? Why? It isn't your birthday. I know, but the school exams are over. <sighs> All right. When do you want to have the party? On Saturday. OK. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Could we have the party at Grandmother's house? I think so, but why there? Because her house is bigger. What's the number of her house? I can't remember. It's 31. 
And it's in Regent Street. I remember the name of the street, Dad. And when you ask your friends to come, you must put the time too. Can we start at half past three in the afternoon? Mm, that's too early, I think. Put half past four. OK. I'm going to ask my friends to bring some things, so Mum won't have to do everything. And I can help too. What kind of things? How about cakes and some games? All right. And tell your friends to wear jeans. Why, Dad? Well, then you can play in the garden if the weather's nice. Oh, yes. Excellent. I love climbing the trees in the garden. I know. <laughs> and ask your friend's parents to phone me, please. Why? Because it's good to have everyone's address. OK. Thanks, Dad. Oh, it will be great. Now listen to part two again. Could we have the party at Grandmother's house? I think so, but why there? Because her house is bigger. What's the number of her house? I can't remember. It's 31, and it's in Regent Street. I remember the name of the street, Dad. And when you ask your friends to come, you must put the time, too. Can we start at half past three in the afternoon? Mm, that's too early, I think. Put half past four. OK. I'm going to ask my friends to bring some things, so Mum won't have to do everything. And I can help too. What kind of things? How about cakes and some games? All right. And tell your friends to wear jeans. Why, Dad? Well, then you can play in the garden if the weather's nice. Oh, yes. Excellent. I love climbing the trees in the garden. I know. <laughs> and ask your friend's parents to phone me, please. Why? Because it's good to have everyone's address. OK. Thanks, Dad. Oh, it will be great. That is the end of part two. Okay, yes, yeah, so hello. Please come to my party on Saturday at... Uh, the 31. Street. Wow, very good. It will start at uh, uh, afternoon. Afternoon. Half past four. <laughs> That's after. <laughs> Correct. Please bring uh, friend. friends and uh, I don't know. And Cakes and games, baby. <laughs> Please wear and game. Uh, wear, wear jean. jeans. Ask your mom or dad to. Oh. Okay. Ask your mom and dad to. Oh. The phone, okay, nice. Okay, this one, baby. Write the letter, okay? Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. A man at the zoo gave the animals the wrong food to eat. What did each kind of animal eat today? Did you have a good day at the zoo? Yes, but a new man started work today, and he gave the animals all the wrong food. The monkeys were very happy. He gave them sweets for their lunch. Oh, no! Can you see the letter G? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. We've got some new camels at the zoo, too. The new man decided to give them chocolate biscuits to eat. That wasn't a very good idea, but they loved them. Did they eat them all? Yes. The insects at the zoo usually eat leaves. I know they do. They love those. Mmm. But the new man gave them fruit today, some old bananas. He cut them into pieces and put them in their cages. They didn't eat much. 
What else did he do wrong? Well, the bears eat lots of food, but one of them had stomach ache today. I think it's because they had pizza for their lunch, cheese and tomato ones. It was better later on. That was good. But the dolphins were all very happy. I bought some ice cream this morning because it was so hot and put it in the fridge. I went to get it later and. What happened? Well, it was missing. The new man gave it all to them. And the lions looked happy too. Guess what? He gave them jam sandwiches. But do they like that kind of food? Not usually. They like to eat meat, of course. He doesn't know anything about animals. He can't do the job. He's going to work in the cafe tomorrow. Well, it's better for him to work there. Now listen to part three again. We've got some new camels at the zoo too. The new man decided to give them chocolate biscuits to eat. That wasn't a very good idea, but they loved them. Did they eat them all? Yes. The insects at the zoo usually eat leaves. I know they do. They love those. Hmm. But the new man gave them fruit today. Some old bananas. He cut them into pieces and put them in their cages. They didn't eat much. Oh, well, let me, let me... What else did he do wrong? Well, the bear. Okay, Paul. Okay. Okay. That's Bears eat lots of food, but one of them had stomach ache today. I think it's because they had pizza for their lunch, cheese and tomato ones. It was better later on. That was good. But the dolphins were all very happy. I bought some ice cream this morning because it was so hot, and put it in the fridge. I went to get it later, and what happened? Well, it was missing. The new man gave it all to them, and the lions looked happy too. Guess what? He gave them jam sandwiches. But do they like that kind of food? Not usually. They like to eat meat, of course. He doesn't know anything about animals. He can't do the job. He's going to work in the cafe tomorrow. Well, it's better for him to work there. That is the end of part three. Okay. So the lions, what letter, baby? Uh, uh, F. F. The camels. Uh, C. Sure. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> I. What, baby? I. The bears. D. 
The insects. E, e, e. The dolphins. B. D or B? D as in dog? B. Uh, the bear. E, D. The bears. What is the letter of the bears? E. Dog as in dog? The dolphin. E, B. For that the bears is D. Am I right? Yeah. Let me see if that's correct. Or oh, wrong, baby. I told you to get a piece of paper, Foo. Okay. Because you have to remember, because this is a test for listening. Faded. F A. This one is correct. Only one is correct. Next, baby, get a piece of paper. Okay. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. Where is Aunt May going to play volleyball? Hello, Tom. Do you want to play volleyball with us this evening? Where are you going to play? At the beach? It will be too cold there. We're going to play inside at the club. Not in the school playground. It's good there. No. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Who else is going with Aunt May? Who's going with you? Your mum's going to play too. Oh, what about Dad? No, he doesn't like volleyball. He's going to watch football on TV with your little cousin. Two, what has Aunt May lost? What are you going to wear? Oh, just shorts and a t-shirt. I always wear a hat when I'm playing. My hair gets in my eyes. I know. I usually wear one too, but I can't find mine today. I lost it at the beach, I think. Okay, so number one, who else is going with Aunt May? Me. Oh, what has Aunt May lost? I. Yes, okay, next. Three, what time will the game start? When are you going to play, Aunt May? After dinner? Yes. We're going to meet the others at about 8, and we'll start the game at about quarter past. That's too late for me. I have to be home by 9.30 if I've got school the next day. But it's Friday today. Oh, yes. No school tomorrow. 4. What has Aunt May forgotten today? Last week, I forgot to take the ball and my towel. Why do you take a towel? Do you go swimming too? No, I always take one because we have a shower after the game. Oh, so you need to take some soap too. Oh, I've forgotten that this time. I must remember to put some in my bag. Five. What will Tom do this evening? So, Tom, will you play volleyball with us this evening? Well, 
No, thank you, Aunt May. My friends are going to the circus, so I'll go with them. Okay. Well, I'll see you in the cafe tomorrow then. Have a good time tonight. You too. Bye. Baby number four, what has Aunt May forgotten? B. Soccer ball? No. I, I don't know. What time, okay? Number four, what has Aunt May forgotten today? Uh, C. Hey, baby, so what will Tom do this evening? Uh, C. <clears throat> uh, okay. Okay, this is very easy. Part five. This is... Listen. Okay, baby, we are, you cannot able to draw this one, so we were going to pass this. Okay. Okay, wow. So, Pooh, how, how's your... How's your experience today? Is it easy? Mm, yeah. The easy, right? Yeah. Unlike before, because they change, maybe they change the the lesson. For what grade are you in? Yeah. Okay. So you are grade five or grade six, baby? Uh, Ray. Ray. You, uh, you don't know your grade. <laughs> wait, wait, wait me. Grade, yes. What grade in school, baby? Grade five? Uh, no, uh, I'm nine. Uh, right? Grade what? Right. In what, who? Uh, I'm grade nine. Ah, okay. Hold on. Grade nine. Okay, so let me get back to you. Okay, let's continue the lesson tomorrow, baby, okay? Okay, five, uh, five uh, Yes, same, we are the same. Okay, see you. Maybe it's, it's cloud. What? Okay, see you uh, in the. See you in. Yeah. What? At 5 p.m. tomorrow, baby. Okay. See you.